GameStar is being accused of shaming a rape victim. Uh, a video just came out today on YouTube uh, by Jen to the Den accusing Kingstar of uh, shaming a rape victim, Jesse Smiles. Um, if you don't know, Jesse Smile um, accused her then boyfriend Curtis Lepore, the Vine star, of raping her back in 2014. Uh, I'm gonna play you some of the clips from the video. I'm gonna play you uh, what I'm gonna show you what prompted Jen to the Den to make this video about Kim Star, and then we're gonna get a little just a little bit into what happened between Jesse Smiles and Curtis. Well, LaPorte. for some reason, this morning, uh, Kim Star, who I have literally like stayed away from even watching his shit because I have gotten the idea that he just basically starts shit just to do it. But see, you started the wrong shit today. You publicly shamed and, and bashed a rape victim. And, you know, that's nothing new, okay? But you... But let me just read through your tweets. If I remember correctly, she said her boyfriend raped her after they broke up and charges were dropped and his career was ruined from it. Just saying. Were you in the courtroom? Because I was. So that's what Kim started tweeted out. And that's what triggered Jen to the Den to uh, proceed and make this video. But I'm not on his side. I'm not on her side. I'm neutral. I'm an outside party just looking in. Uh, he wasn't tweeting anything shaming her. He literally was just stating facts. Uh, Curtis Lepore, he, his career was ruined. Number one. Number two, he did cop a plea deal. And you ask, why would he cop a plea deal? Well, uh, copying a plea deal is you go, you don't want to get, I'll show you the definition of it, but you literally are either copying a plea deal means you either accept the charges that you got for a lesser sentence or you get those charges thrown out for a different sentence. In Curtis Lepore case, his charges got dropped. The rape allegation charges got dropped. Then it went down from uh, rape charges to a felony assault. And then in 2015, it went, it completely disappeared from felony assault down to a misdemeanor. So, Jen, you said that he was a felon, that he had a felony. He doesn't. That he has a misdemeanor on his record for assault. Assault. We don't know what kind of assault it is. You don't know. I don't know. Kim Sar doesn't know. The only people that know is Jesse Miles and Curtis Lepore. Assault. It doesn't say if it's sexual assault, battery assault, uh, any kind of assault, literally. It doesn't say what it is. It just says misdemeanor, assault, felony assault. It never said sexual assault. Kim Star also said, why would he cop a plea deal? Or why would they give him a plea if he is caught? Right? Exactly. Uh, my my thought exactly. Why would he get a plea deal if he admitted to sexual assault, to rape? You have enough there. If if you know that he is guilty for rape, why would you give him a deal? So something is not adding up with your story and and Jesse Smiles' story. And I'm not shaming her. I'm just stating facts from what I've read and from what I know about it. If he was a rapist, it would have, would have been convicted rapist. Because a lot of people, a lot of men and women as well who rape and get caught are convicted. There's no pleading out of it. Now, you also mentioned you have no idea what it is to for women and this is why they don't speak up do you know what it is how hard it is for men as well men men can get accused just accused and they will get thrown in jail there have been men in this country who have done years because of bogus allegations because they didn't commit any crimes 
but because the girl said yes he did it that's enough for the for the legal system like you call it to throw a man in jail and that simply isn't right yes there are other men that do get away with it i will give you that there are men that get away with rape but there are women that get away with throwing men innocent men in jail one example i'm gonna give you uh ezekiel elliott running back for the dallas cowboys he was accused of uh domestic violence right accused of domestic violence he was suspended six games from the nfl he was investigated by the cops and guess what it was proven that she lied the whole time she sent text messages to her friends saying oh i need you to uh beat me up I, i'm gonna set him up all these things so he got in trouble got suspended six games got investigated by the cops and luckily the 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 cops had the receipts from the text messages or else he could have done time so don't tell me that women are the only victims here because men are too men and women can both be victims don't just say that because she's your friend kingstar is victim shaming her because he's not he did ne never not once in his tweets did he shame her all he said he was very uh objective about it all he did was tweet out tmc articles he said <clears throat> how he felt about it which isn't shaming her now if he would have been saying oh you you did this to him because of him he's out of a job then that would be different but he was never actually charged with the sexual assault he was never actually convicted of sexual assault therefore your point is literally moot he he wasn't convicted of sexual assault and his felony assault got dropped to a misdemeanor in 2015. So, yeah, Keemstar wasn't victim shaming her at all. He, he was just saying exactly how he saw it, how he felt, and was only putting out facts. Only putting out facts. This is the tweet that Jen is talking about. Kim Star tweeted it out today, saying, if I remember correctly, she said her boyfriend raped her after they broke up and charges were dropped and his career was ruined from it. Just saying. In the eyes of the law, Curtis Lepore is not a rapist. People, the public opinion of the people may ostracize the guy and say, yes, he is. But in the eyes of the law, Curtis Lepore is not a rapist rapist he's not uh he's not accused of sexual assault he's not charged with sexual assault rape he's he doesn't have a criminal record from from that incident he has a misdemeanor misdemeanor is very different from felony gen very different you can still get a, a job with a misdemeanor you can still get a gun with a misdemeanor your second amendment rights don't go away you can still vote with a misdemeanor so no you may think that he is but in the in the eyes of the law this man is not a rapist just like michael jackson's in the eye michael jackson in the eyes of the law he was not a rapist although the public ostracizes michael jackson every single day and say he's a rapist and and a sexual and a, and a child abuser he really isn't and he never was same case with Curtis Lepore right now. Factually speaking, he is not a rapist, a convicted rapist. This is what being uh, what being a plea deal is. This is the actual definition of a plea deal. Something else I found very interesting of Jen, on Jen to the Dance video is she disabled the comments. And it's okay. It is okay to disable comments. But one thing I if i find disturbing is where she says on the description i don't need your damn comments the way i look at that is is either her her way or the highway and it's it clearly shows right there that it has to be her way 
because she doesn't want anybody else's opinion on this. She doesn't care what you have to say. She does not care that your opinion, what if your opinion matters or not. It, to her, it doesn't. You are a nobody to her. Why? Because it is her opinion the only that matters. The only one that matters. And it is exactly what's happening right now with the whole Kim Star situation. She wants her opinion and not. She doesn't want Kim Star to have a, th a thing to say about it. Then, when she posted this uh, this video on Twitter, she wrote her uh, she 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 wrote what she wrote, but then said, "P.S. Bring it to Kim Star," which prompted Kim Star to say that this is for attention. She's only doing this for attention, and I will say that he is right. She is doing it for attention because this happened in 2013, 2014. All right, this I'm t we're talking about four years ago, and this woman is just now bringing this up. All right, just now bringing it up. Look, I don't like Logan Paul, but him calling her a liar. Okay, that might have been a bit fucked up, but the the. The fact of the matter is, in the eyes of the law, Curtis Lepore didn't do anything wrong. So if someone is not following, didn't follow the, the, the case closely and call her a liar, all they and, and, and all they know is that Curtis Lepore charges from sexual assault got dropped, then Jen, how do you want people to think? They, she accused him of sexual rape. But he's not convicted of such case of, of such uh, charges. So how do you want people to think? I'm, I'm speaking objectively. I don't have a dog in that fight. But how do you want people to think? Yes, they're gonna think she's a lion. And you know why? Because that many women have accused innocent men. In this country alone just this country let alone the entire world so how do you want people to react this you have to think about that men are falsely accused every single day and we have to take it yet if we accuse a woman of raping us or beating us up you know what people do they laugh at us that's the double standard bullshit that goes on so you have to see where Logan Paul is also coming from. Yes, she, he might have called her a liar. He might have been fucked up. But the, the truth in the matter is. Curtis Lepore is wasn't charged with sexual assault. He was, he was charged with felony assault. We don't know what kind of assault. We don't know. Hell, you don't know. Don't tell me that you do because that you do know because you were in the courtroom. No, you don't. This man was literally the charges were felony assault. But I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, if you like this video, just make sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I am out of here. Peace.